guys and welcome back to our Sony Army FC FIFA 22 Create a Club Mode series. So as you can see we are currently sat in 10th place after 10 games. We'll be playing a few more games in this episode and we've got some absolute crackers coming up let me tell you. But we are going to throw ourselves straight into it. We're going to be taking on Brentford away from them. They're currently struggling in 16th just above the relegation zone. But as you can see, we're mid-table. We are absolutely smashing it at the moment, but things can turn very, very quickly. We're getting really inconsistent. You know, we're winning the odd game here and there. Then we're getting battered for a couple of games and winning another one, drawing one. But I'll take that at the time being, you know. As long as we're not getting relegated, that is all that counts. So this is the team we're going to be using against Brentford at the Brentford Community Stadium with our lovely away kit. It's really, really growing on me, that kit. You know, with the, the sky blue, the white, and the little bits of red. Around the, uh, around the trims as well. I think it's really, really good. But look, that is a pretty solid side for Brentford as well, of course, with the likes of Ericsson in there. You've got Campbell up top. Will be difficult, but can we get ourselves a result? Let's get into it. And here we go. It's another big game. Everyone is pretty much a, a big game. It's almost like a cup final for us because we just want to stay in the league. We want to solidify our place as a Premier League side for the next season we can push on because the side we've got now, it's not going to do anything. You know, we've, we've caused a few surprises against the likes of Arsenal, against Chelsea. We've got the draw against Manchester City. So we've done well there, but we are always hoping to an absolute battering. So we need to solidify our place in the Premier League before we think about anything else. And on the topic of moving forward, guys, keep on letting me know in the comments where do you think we should go next season, or at least who should we go for next season? Of course, we can only sign three players per season. So let us know what you think. I have no idea what the budget is going to be like uh, come next season, but three players you think we should go for, or one player in particular, who do you think we should go for? Let me know in the comments. But as we speak, it's Brentford with a really good start, and it's high and wide. Oh, this is gorgeous football, this. Make your move, make your move, Jimenez, make your move. You're just trying to slip Jimenez in. Can he pull it back? Yes, he can. Finish. Oh, it's straight to the keeper. After such lovely football as well. It's Veenstra, who's been very, very impressive, actually. Been knocked on there for Haynes, who has a lot of pace in behind, actually. And he does find Jimenez, who does get in behind. Jimenez, it's a save, surely. Oh, my God, he's missing the open net. Oh, and Haynes, he misses the open net. It's a tight angle, don't get me wrong. Oh, but he has to be finishing that. Come on. Oh, that's a good chance now for Brentford. Have some really good football. We might actually get the block away. What is he doing here? I try Jesus Christ. I've tried to clear it away, but he's taken another touch there. Gifting Brentford with a great opportunity. Why the hell did he do that? I was trying to batter it away. But he just kept frigging sprinting with the ball. Now there's another opportunity for them. They pulled it back. Way back here. They're going to maybe get it in the box. Yes, they have done. Great chance for them. We've got bodies ourselves all over the place. And there he is. 1-0 Brentford. Oh, that is not good enough. And the centre-back, Pinnock, gets himself a goal. The keep holds the ball really well, you know. They're taking the piss. Absolutely taking the piss. And put it in the box here. Good chance for them. And it's straight at Jordan Pickford. Here they are again on the edge of the box. Trying to wriggle some room here. Get into him, man. Come on, get away, get away, get away. Well played. All Brentford this game, you know. We've tried to break forward. Tried to work a bit of room. But now here is Haynes. Look at the pace on Haynes here. Why is there no one getting in the box, man? Why is Jimenez taking his sweet time? He eventually gets in towards the back post. And it's, it's in. It's gone in. It's been tucked away by Veenstra. He missed a sitter. Oh, sorry, we did miss a sitter from a similar angle earlier on in the game. But Veenstra makes no mistake there. Get in. The ball that I was waiting for Jimenez to make his run, but it was taking so long. It ends up being a really deep one. He's managed to get on the end of it and tuck it in at the near post. Come on. Oh, they're driving down this right side now. Loads of space, but we're managing to catch up to him. Don't let the crossing, don't let the crossing. Well in, come on. Oh, referee, where's the foul there, man? We just nicked the ball off him. He's just left the ball. We've picked it up. Jesus Christ. The refing sometimes, it's just a joke. Henry to take. Dink to in, get it away, please. Head in. That's yours, Pickford. He's chose to punch it. Still in there, it's been volleyed. And it's another save. Come on. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Oh, it's been cut inside there. Good, good block there. Now, can we break it? It's Jimenez. He isn't the pace, but we need some support. He's got an out here. Go on, Haynes. Go on, Haynes. Go on, Haynes. No, I'm turning back. There's no support at all. I can see movement there. It's Hall, the youngster who got through the academy. Hall, finish, surely. Oh, he's hit it wide. What a chance for the young lad who he brought through the academy. It's on his weaker right foot. Oh, come on. There we go on the break. Brentford they keep finding so much space on the wings because we just have such little pace in our defence. Feenstra's trying to chip in there. 
but it's not, it doesn't seem to be good enough at the minute. They are holding on to it really, really well. Some good possession football. Oh, here we go again. They pull it back for Wissa. It's a good block. Well in. Get in, lad. Can we break? Can we break? Can we break? Tries to find Jimenez. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Help him. Oh, there's not really too much movement. And again, there we go. Look at the movement here, though. And again, and again, I can see some movement. Surely, Feastra. Oh, he's here wide. He was onside as well. Oh, I can't believe it. How the hell aren't we winning this game? See, that's what happens when you have a bunch of players that are sort of 67, 68 rated. The sitters just don't go in. And here we go again. We've been done on the wing. Great challenge. Please don't you dare give a foul. Turn. Help him. Help him spread it. You've passed it to the wrong man, but I'll take it. It is Lanzini. Still Lanzini. He's going for the... Go on. Inside pass. And again, one more time. It is Hall. Is he going to finish? Hall again. Surely finish. Get in. He's done it this time. It's another one-on-one -on -one opportunity we've managed to craft. And it is Lewis Hall. The youngster is not missing that one. Get in. Lovely build-up play. Lovely great football from Lanzini. Knocks it in for Hall. One-on-one the keeper. And his stronger left foot this time. He's getting nowhere near it. Come on. We deserve it now. We deserve this. Three minutes added on. It's a corner for Brentford. Please, lads, just get it away. No messing about. Get it away, lads. No one's going for it. Get it away. Oh, my God. Look, no one was clearing the ball or at least going for it. Even Pickford left it there for a moment. I'm just going to twat it forward. I don't care at this point. And thank God. There we go. It's three points. What a way to start the episode. Coming back from behind, away from home. It wasn't easy, but we absolutely deserved it. That second half performance definitely merited three points. Get in. But next up, we do have Southampton at home. We're currently sick in the league, which is absolutely mental. But we are going to be quick simming this one. And we do pick up our first defeat of the episode. And it's a goal from Will Prowse that gives Southampton the three points. And we'll be doing another quick sim game here against Wolves at Sarnie's Layer. And it's a draw this time. Veenstra and De Silva getting themselves on the score sheet for us. But now it is a massive one. It's the first time we're going to be taking on the Mags in this series. For those of you who don't know, I know my other FIFA Sunderland series, I have never, ever lost against Newcastle. It's not 100%. I've drew plenty, but I've never, ever lost. So I'd like to keep that intact as we did put Newcastle as our rivals. But if we are to be uh, beaten, it's not going to count because, uh, <laughs> because we're not Sunderland. But either way... We're going to St. James's. We're going to go full strength as usual. Come on. And here we are. An absolutely massive one. It's a nighttime game. Under the lights. It's pouring it down in the northeast as Newcastle do await Sony Army FC. And away we go. Come on. Oh, this is good football now from Newcastle. Oh, I could feel him try and slip him in behind in the afternoon because we have no pace at all. Really good chance for Newcastle. Block him off, block him off. Well in. Winter, the captain, is a big brick shit out. He isn't the quickest, but he's good at getting his foot in. Go on, Jimenez. Move, man. I'm just going to hoof it over the top. Will he get there? Will he get there, Jimenez? I don't think he will. Oh, he nearly wrestles his way in behind. Not this time. Keep hold of it. Keep hold of it. He needs support. He's got very little of it. We get ourselves a throw. What? How the hell is that throwing to them? He just booted out of play. I tell you what, guys. So shit, the officiating. So shit. Oh, don't let them turn you. Don't let them turn you. Don't let them turn you. Well in again. Winter's having an absolute stormer at the minute. Bringing us forward. There's no support with him. So here we go. It's Hall. Spread the play if you can. Lovely. Hold on to the ball for a bit, lads. Because every time we go forward, we're just losing it immediately. Let's get a bit of possession under our belts. Very little in terms of clear-cut chances, but they're going to create one now, aren't they? And it's a save from Pickford. Go on, son. Well played. Go on. Knock it on for Haynes. I can see Lanzini. It is towards Lanzini. There's no one in the box. Come on, help him. Dink it in towards Jimenez. Oh, it's nearly an absolute beauty from Jimenez. But it's gone wide of the post. Both sides creating a couple of little chances here and there. But it is nil-nil at half-time. Ball over the top now, and it is Fraser. Really good chance for him, but his touch has let him down, slowed down the play a little bit. It's another block, but we've given it straight back to him. And the save from Pickford, I can't believe that. He's basically just passed it to him. And then the first touch was that bad, he just handed it back to him. Great chance, and another great save from Pickers. If it away, and we have hoofed it away, and Vintra's going to be through here if he can get the first touch. He can! Vintra, driving it there now! It is Vintra, still, finish! 
It's in with Dunnett. It's a counter attack of dreams. It's Feaster again. Who does it? Get in. I've literally just been getting so pissed off, so frustrated. I've been ranting and raving so much because every time we try and get it out of our own box, we're passing it straight to Newcastle players. Our touch is going straight to Newcastle players, but we hoof it away out of frustration. And Feaster is one and one with the keeper. And my God, does he bury it. Get in, son. Five minutes to go. Newcastle holding. Possession quite well, can we? Maybe force them into an error, possibly get a second or at least hold out for the three points here at St. James's Park. And what a win it will be, because they've dominated for large periods. It is Murphy now down this right side, I can't dive in, because he's already on the yellow card. That is yours, Pickford, please. Get in, son. Come on. Hold on to it for a bit. That's time just for a short while. Get away, get away, get away. Well in winter. Blow the whistle ref, please. That's a great header there as well. And it is Lanzini now. But we're over the top for Haynes. Go on, big touch from you, son. It is Haynes. It's beating his man here. It's Haynes. Still Haynes. Straight the keeper. And they've played across the wrong box there. Oh, my God. Get in. There we go. Full-time whistle goals. It's a famous victory. Our first ever game at St. James's as Sony Army FC. And we get away with a 1-0 win. Come on. But now, next up, we do have a massive game against Spurs. But our first team are absolutely exhausted. And I don't really fancy playing with our second string, which are uh, really, really poor. So I'm going to quick submit. Full expecting a defeat, mind you. Full expecting a defeat. Is it going to be so? It's not. I will take it. Every day of the week, Andrade and Maurice gets us the point away from home at Spurs. This is going very well, guys. This is going very well. Our second string squad got us a point at Spurs. And they're all rated like freaking 59, 60. But now this is an absolute colossus of a game. We're currently in seventh place. Look how good we're doing. <laughs> I'm so surprised. I'm so, so surprised. But we're going to be welcoming none other than Giants Manchester United to Sony's layer. And just look at the comparison in teams. I mean, the colour scheme is actually very similar to our, our away kit. You know, match with the sky blue, white, and a little bit of red in there. Very, very similar. So I can appreciate that. But the, the quality is just huge, isn't it? It's just chalk and cheese. But can we get ourselves a surprise result here at Sony's layer? We shall see. And here we go. It is the Dream Destroyers. It is Sony Army FC at Sony's layer, welcoming the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo. What a game this could potentially be, or it could go horribly wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Winter now, the centre-back. Pumps the ball in the box towards the back post. It's confirmed. Chimenez, it's in. We've done it. We've managed to get it over the line. And there's another shock on the cards here. As Sardis layer, this time at the hands of Manchester United. Come on. We played the free kick short of it originally. Come to Winter, the centre-back. It's a ball in that caused all kinds of problems. They couldn't deal with it. It comes to Jimenez, who, of course, has not missed from there. How many goals has he got now? Eight goals in 14 games, and that is why I signed him. Poacher is a goal scorer. is an absolute machine. Oh, come on, come on. Great chance for them now. Really good chance. It's a really good save as well. Get away, please, lads. Please, please, please. Get away, get away, get away. That'll do. Ronaldo, Sancho, Ronaldo again. They link up so quickly, those two. Trying to find the space, but Winter gets involved. Tries to get the block on. Falls back for Sancho. And it's an equaliser. Horrible defending. Everything just kept falling back for Manchester United. All the deflections, all the passes, all seem to sit up neatly for them. And that's what happens. One all. Pogba now gets the ball on the left-hand side towards a corner flag. Oh, it's been done there too easily, Winter. Come on, Pickford. Surely. Oh, there we go. They're in the lead. We've been done over there. It's good football, that has to be said. Not too much we could have done, but they've absolutely done us. 2-1. This is really, really good football from Manchester United. They're getting it down to the byline. Come on. Get into it, man. Get into it, man. Don't let him pass you. Don't let him pass you. Don't let him pass you. He's going backwards. He's hell-bent on going back there. Red. Oh, they're going to try and work away in. It's been blocked, but straight back to Pogba. This is what I mean. All their passes and little deflections all falls back to Manchester United. Play is, and it's a decent effort from Pogba. It's a good save as well. Get it away, please, lads. Get it away. What are you doing? You've passed it to the wrong man there. And it, oh, my God. I've gone to go for a through ball down the line. And he's turned back. And give it straight to Manchester United. When he gets the ball there, I've gone to go down the line. And for some reason, he passed it back into our own box. Absolutely phenomenal. 3-1. I wouldn't mind if Popper just pinged it in from the edge of the box, you know what I mean? But when it's shit like that, it just spoils it for me. Help him, help him, help him. There we go. And it is Hall now. Lewis Hall, can he get it in the box? Towards the back post. Can't rise above the rest. And for some reason, Lancini doesn't fancy going for it. 
Go on. On the turn, I can see him. Out wide. Big touch inside. Strike it. Oh, it's a great save, Lanzini. Oh, it's been cleared away. Come on. Oh, it's a good chance now. It's the substitute who pulls it back for Pogba. And Mella, the substitute, who's come off. Oh, sorry, come on. For Cristiano Ronaldo, who's got himself a goal. Come on, help him, help him, help him. Try and dink Jimenez in there. If he can get there first, he can. Jimenez. Oh, my God. And that just sums up this game. What a chance. Just past the post. The way he wrestles in between defenders is so, so good. But you would have put your mortgage on him at least hitting the target there. Mellet again. Pogba's making the move in behind. Oh, God, here we go. Great chance now for them. We're absolutely falling to bits at the back. We managed to get a block on it. Just put us out of our misery, ref, please. Hoof it away. Well, I've tried to hoof it away. There we go. 4-1. After going a goal up, that is really frustrating. Of course, I don't expect to win these games, but because we've managed to get really good results against bigger teams as well, you start to believe that you can get the wins. But yeah, we should really expect to get beat by teams like Manchester United. 4-1. But now to take on Aston Villa with a quick sim game. It will be with our second string again for fitness reasons. And that's what it's like because the squad we have, it's uh, it's really, really difficult. Because if you look at those players, you know, our left back is rated fr like friggin' 59. Do you know what I mean? And uh, this could be pretty nasty. But it is going to be a quick sim game. Is it going to be another defeat? It's not. It's going to be a draw. Our second string are actually doing really well in these quick sim games. Doing really well. But now for the final game of the episode, it is going to be a mid-table clash. Sony Army FC currently in 11th place, taking on West Ham. who are currently in 12th place. So our usual start in 11. We're going to the London Stadium. Come on. And here we are. It is snowing in London. Last time out, or at least the last episode, we played two London teams and managed to get two really, really good results. Can we get another one here? at the London Stadium. Oh God, this looks horrible. This looks absolutely horrible. This could be hell. I hate playing on snowy pitch in FIFA. I did notice it in the menus and now we're gonna get absolutely battered. <laughs> Lovely football now and it's all now. Big touch from him. Falls back for Vistra. Tries to get it back in the box and again, get you in it, Jimenez. It's gone in! It's a brilliant header! An absolutely gorgeous header from Jimenez straight away in this game. I was just saying we're going to get battered, but it was Vintra who had two attempts to get the ball in the box. The second one finally did, and it's drifted, floated straight on the head. Oh, Jimenez. No one's really marking him. The keeper does get a touch in it, but it can only go off the inside of the post and go in the back of the net. Come on! Oh, could they get a quick equaliser here? They're not going to. Great challenge. Get the ball away, please. I knew he was going to drive it straight at him. I knew it. I don't even know why I freaking tried to clear it. No foul, please, lads. Is it going to be an immediate equaliser? No, it's not. My God, get it away, please. There you go. There you go. Love those passes from Hall. I know it is Haynes. Go on, son. Go on, son. Take him. Referee. It's on the... It's in. It's in the box. It'd be a penalty. I don't know why I'm celebrating because... I am terrible at penalties on this game. But what an opportunity this is for us. Early doors to double our lead. And it is Jimenez, of course. I might go top bins, you know. Well, kind of top bins anyway. Go on, Jimenez. Go on, son. Go on, son. It's in. It's a gorgeous penalty. And it is Raul Jimenez who absolutely buries it. 2-0 already. Come on. Keeps falling back to West Ham players. Turned. Twisting and turning there. Getting to him, and it's in. Oh my God, three goals in the opening 20 odd minutes. It's Antonio that gets it. Oh dear, what kind of game is this going to be, eh? Ricky now driving forward, knocks it on for one goal, out wide. Four Haynes can drive it across goal. He just tried to. Oh, and I think Jimenez did get a foot on it. But I also think it was the West Ham man who touched it last, but the referee, of course, thinks otherwise. And the second half is underway. Like I say, those crazy 20 minutes in the opening of that first half was met with about 20 minutes of quite boring football. But now straight away, Bowen does have it down the side. It's a great challenge. Get in. Come on now. There's no one pressing him at all. Great chance for Antonio. And it's a thunderous strike. It's a thunderous equaliser. Oh, God. Come on. It's that stupid frigging celebration as well. Poor defending. No one marked the men around the edge of the box. They've worked it in. It's a great finish. It has to be said. It is Lanzini now, though. On to Haynes. Can he get there first? He can! Immediately, we're back in the lead. And it is 
Haynes, who gets it? Come on! We have shown no signs of getting a goal in this second half so far. But it's as simple as that. The way he played on to Haynes there. It's a first time. It's a gorgeous finish. I think the keeper might have even got a touch on that one as well. Just like the one previous. But get in! Come on! Oh, this does not look good. This attack does not look good at all. I can feel that the switch has been flicked for West Ham. Our defenders have fallen all over the place here. Get it away! What a save it is from Pickford. West Ham dominating at the moment. Really searching for yet another equaliser. What a game this has been. We're skidding all over the place. Falling all over the show. They're trying to work it in the box. They're doing it well at the moment. Oh, come on, lads. And they're all the way back. That's a very strange play from West Ham. But come on, lads. Get out, man. Get out. They're giving us a chance there. Why the hell did they hoof it away? But it's probably going to work in their favour. That's after another save. We can't get the ball. We can't get the ball. Come on, lads. Please. Please get away. Headed again. That should be a goal kick, surely. Is it a goal kick? Please say it is. Yes, it is. Thank God. I'm going to try and time waste now because we haven't touched the ball in about 25 minutes. That'll do. Let's try to foul Veenstra, but you can't foul him, son. You can't foul our Veenstra. We're going back. We're going back. We're going to win this game, lads. We're going to see them out. We're going to see them out with a time waste into oblivion. It is all. Can you spread the place on as you can? Oh, of course he can. All can do what the hell he wants. Down the line, down the line, down the line. Great play there. Get the ball in the box. Can we get it towards Lanzini? Come on. There can't be that much left. Struck by Hall. I can't see where the frigging ball is. Oh, my God. Oh, please, lads. Please, 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 please. Get it away. Get it away. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. We deserve it. We deserve it, ref. Please blow the whistle. Have we got ourselves a win? Or is it going to be one last chance for West Ham? Please. Great challenge. Get it away. Get it away, man. I keep pressing past it. There we go. Oh, my God. I need to lie down. What a game that was to round off the episode. 3-2 away from home. Absolute madness, that game. Absolute madness. Come on. And that result against West Ham does see us jump all the way from 11th to 6th. We are absolutely smashing it. After 18 games, winning seven, drawing six and losing five. We are doing so, so well. We really are absolute insanity. Liverpool, of course, still unbeaten and top of the league. Manchester United, also the other unbeaten team in, uh, in the Premier League at the moment as well. Let's have a look at the bottom three. We do have Brentford, Watford and Brighton. Newcastle level on points with Brighton. Sorry, Brentford, should I say. Level on points with Brentford. Come on, Brentford, there. But there we go. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the series, of course, please keep hitting the like button. It means so, so much. And subscribe if you're new. We're trying to hit. I don't know. By the time I'm recording this, I'm not too sure what subscriber count we're on. But at the time of recording this, it is just before 14,000 subscribers. And I am uh, uh, pre-recording these quite considerably in advance. So there's the fourth wall being broke. But there you go. If you have enjoyed, like, subscribe and all that nonsense. But for now, take care and stay jamming. <laughs>